my producer is now in prison <coughs> serving time. Three years. Sick of rhymes. King Mix Up posts a video and had a lot to say about my producer, Sick of Rhymes. You know the one we produce, Call Me, and them makes you sick of Call Me, and another song. We do two songs together. And um, it's like, you know, me have hundreds of songs. Me not have time to remember the ones women are produce. So anyway, Sick of Rhymes, wife, Ex-wife, come out and had a lot to say. And Amari is here to say, Wagoso and Wanagoso. The first thing she come out with is that Sikarams have beaten her a lot of times. You know, my producer is now in prison <coughs> serving time, three years. You know, and um, she got in touch with me today too. And she said, Amari, the man beat her up 20 times, over 20 times she had to call the cops. 20 times she reported him to the cops in the UK. You know, Sikarabs is the vice president for Gaza. You know, say, um, um, Vibes Cartel is the president. Sikarabs was the vice president. And... Over 20 times, she had to call the cops for him in the UK. Then finally lock him up. Now, according to her, he had a whole different family. Apart from her being the wife, you know, she's a white lady. He had a whole different family upon the side, you know. And thousands of dollars, you know, she used to take care of him and him family and everything. But the thing that is shocking people is in regards to Sikarams being G-A-Y. Is it true? <laughs> well, this is what I have to say. I found it very strange when my producer referred to Cartel as daddy. Because she mentioned it. I didn't like it because, you know, for a ruffian, Gaza, you know, I hear this big man I talk about daddy. The day, the day, <laughs> man, I like you, you know. The day he referred to cartel as daddy, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> we were on the phone and he was like, I remember he told me to dress up as a soldier to go to Sting. And he was like, "May I tell you, Amari, you remind me of Daddy." So he said, "Daddy." He said, "Yeah, vibes." I saw Daddy the dress for go um sting, and you know you come off the same way and thing. He said, "Daddy," you know, and I, I watch him in a fickle, fickle, you know. I saw the blood clot this. And more time him just the pan daddy 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 daddy. I say, so I say, from when you know vibes, him say him no vibes from him was a youth, you know him no vibes and thing. But I tell him, I tell him if him they call vibes daddy when him little, but sick of rhymes up the up the up there in that age and it's a sickness thing for me sit down and hear him say daddy. Dirty. So, when wife said that is true, me never like it. Never like it. And yeah, things run through my mind. You know, I may mean, say, but mm, I said them people they roll. This come like when me they um, go at this place and the other man show me ninja man picture. Him and ninja man turn up there. So, you know, me, me really now. Stand up for nobody. But another thing what she say, she say, um, they have a beautiful child, you know, and it's shortly after them have the child, him, 
gone to prison, gone to serve time. She say he will be deported. You know what touched me when she apologized to me for all the wrongs that he did to me. That was very, no one had ever done that before, you know. And she told me that um, he took her phone and blocked me and Queenie. And at the same time he blocked us, he used another profile to watch us. And she had sent me the false name and everything. You know, even with these statements and things, is somebody I still love and respect. But I would advise grown men around here to stop calling grown men daddy. It, it makes people get suspicious and things. You know, and another thing, it's like he's trying to get her locked up, calling the FBI or... FBI are honor and all that, you know, and all that is quite unnecessary, you know, especially when a child involved, you know, so my heart really goes for her. Me tell her she's a beautiful, nice girl, and the two of them really treated me good when both of them were managing me, and then him head just chip. The other things that them say a lot of things, but them are saying gay, and um, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible, but me, me not know it's possible, you know. But me always feel say, um, sure, Maria chat too much, you know. Me always feel say you lie about the diabetes thing. I, I'm like, what young boy like you are doing diabetes, my youth? You know, you go part at right there, you go part on stage. You talk about you have diabetes. Nobody not ask you nothing. You jump up and talk about you have diabetes. You understand? Because sick of them, all them on more than mine. You get me? I not have diabetes no more. My doctor said I'm not clear now. He said I'm not even pre-diabetic no more since I lose the weight. And sick of you talk about you have diabetes. And although I like spread rumor upon people because rumor did spread upon me, but I more feel like him did have the big A, not diabetes. But then the baby would have born with it, probably, right? Well, I don't hear say anything wrong with the baby. I'm a pray that it is not so, because then it's possible that his wife would be sick too. But I don't really believe the diabetes story. I'm not, not going to lie about that. Basically, we have to live a life a certain way now, because anything we're in a darkness. I go eventually come to light. No, they also accuse him of being with Winford's son, having a relationship with him. I know Jason and I know him in person and but me don't know him lifestyle. Don't know why his wife say that. Don't know if it's true or lie, but when I go on, on stage, I never seen a big preference, you know, because Sika send me and him man Jason have a thing going on. I never see that. So, I never, never really... Battery law. I never really believe that, you know. And the next thing is, you know, why Why would you be so bold in Jamaica with that? You know, we can't believe everything when we hear, but, you know, remember me have to deal with these people in the industry. And at the same time, me have to speak the truth, if God said me have to speak the truth. But I don't, I don't think we should get their name mixed up this far. Because as far as me know, Jason is just a guy who keep to himself and not in a no mix-up. So, I don't know where that mix-up come from. You understand? I really wish we could have get rid of that part of the room. I don't mean, like it. You have never done me any wrong. And I just respect to the, the family there, but at the same time, at the same time, Amari will come out and say, Bob Marley, people, them, 
it, you know, my God, there are certain things happen. And the same way people say, I'm married, we don't want to deal with it because the relationship where we have with those people is not that we don't check for you, but we don't want to deal with that subject. Well, there's something like that with me. I have to deal with these people, so I don't re- want to really deal with the subject. But what a man do with his life is his life. But we gonna answer to we sure we not even we not even have to answer to the Almighty right here upon earth. Whatever become of our life, we are go have to go answer right here upon earth for all the things them that we do. You know, I don't want nobody to misinterpret me saying I love Queen Lady Gangster as no love thing. We no deal with woman. I was molested by a woman when I. Yeah. Yeah, I was molested by a woman when I was eight years old. And it's so sad. She was like, she was 50 odd years old. And. Because of that, me don't, me don't, you can't ever bring that to me. Yeah, me kiss Queen Lady Gangster. It's a, it's a, just glad for see her, you know, because you know we fight past thing and everything. So I'm just happy for see her. First of all, let me make this clear. I am so happy that you're out of the hospital. So let me say, I am so happy to hear that. But at least you pass the worst for now, because I know so you're still sick. You know, and me hear um, do I say you need a big spliff now from Yvette. You know, no, you have to really focus right now on taking care of yourself. You have to really focus and love yourself more than you love anybody else. But I'm um, honestly, truly, I swear on my days of my life, everything, I'm glad that you're okay, you know, and... I wish I had a chance to see you and I still wish I could hug you before you go to the UK, you know, but um, I know the whole line of freedom around here because in an hour walk straight and from an hour walk straight, Maria go pick it up, don't it? <laughs> this is what I like, you know, saying so I have to just marry the truck. This is, <laughs> this is what I like to say. Get down the fake video them for me, please. You understand? I pay a lot for my phone bill, you know, a month time. I four of them I have. I just can't take the lies and all kind of something. When I turn on my phone, I want real information and things. You understand? Just take down the fake videos them with you and do it. And just make him fly in and do a real video. You understand? Because we're not full. We're not full, full. We're not stupid like that. And the next thing we are gonna shock the world is this house where you say you have. And me alone, I say you know no house, you know. You understand? And the world are gonna find out. Cause Queen, the truth is everybody knows say you just keep a chaka chaka house, and that the house, no, and a your house that you too fuck like. You understand? So that's why I guess I'm not going to get that hug. Because I can see through, you know, you know, I can go right now and do a geolocation and all kind of things and show the world saying I lie with a you know, video on pink wall. It's just some people have a small mind, they can't say where Amari I see. It's not that the man is small, but pink wall will run with something, just run with it car. it look away. Me know say the video fake. 